Want to go around? Look alive, ladies! The boss is gonna join us! Show him how it's done, boss! Your first priority in enemy territory is knowing your surroundings. Your life depends on where you are looking and how fast you can... Look up! Good! Look down! Good! You should be familiar with the up and down camera buttons now. Press the action button if you're ready to move on. Okay! Next, we'll check your left and right. Look right! Good! Look left! Good! You should be familiar with the left and right camera buttons now. Press the action button if you're ready to move on. Okay! You can change the controls anytime in option. Next, I'll explain how to change stances. If you just stand there like an idiot in front of an enemy, you might as well kill yourself now! Good! Next, we'll work on your movement. Use the analog stick to move around. Tilt it a little to walk slowly. Tilt it further to run. Decide which to use based on your situation. Good! Now we have rolling. Rolling is useful for knocking down enemies in your way and for getting away when surrounded. You can... how to attack without gunfire. You may run into an enemy unexpectedly. You may not have a weapon on you, or you may be out of ammo. You'll still need an effective attack strategy. One well-placed strike and the enemy won't know what hit him. To strike an enemy, press the attack button while standing still. On my command, press the attack button repeatedly and take down your opponent. Go. I'm ready, boss. <laughs> Impressive, boss! Next, we're gonna practice using the stun rod. Hitting someone with the stun rod will shock them with a million and a half volts. Anyone on the receiving end of that is guaranteed to be out cold. To use the stun rod, press the aim button to ready it, then press the attack button. You'll be glad to know we're using mock stun rods for this training session. When your partner attacks, make him believe it's the real deal. Prepare yourself for stun rod training. Go! I'm ready, boss. I got, I got, I got. Impressive, boss! Now, we'll move on to CQC. CQC, or Close Quarters Combat, refers to when engaging an enemy in battle at very close range. It is a quick and efficient way of eliminating a threat. There are various CQC techniques. We will go over each of them. Don't get cocky because you think you know them. This will be different from what you're used to. Pretend you are learning it for the first time. The first technique is throwing your opponent. To do this, position yourself near your opponent and press the attack button while you tilt the analog stick. Be sure to press the attack button when the icon appears. Now, wait for my command and throw your opponent. Go! I'm ready, boss. work, boss! Next, I'm going to teach you how to restrain an opponent close to you. This is a cornerstone of CQC. Grab hold of an enemy, and the bastard's life is in your hands. What you do from there is up to you. Just know that if you restrain him for too long, the average person will most likely pass out. Something to keep in mind. Let's begin. To restrain your opponent, hold down the attack button while near them. Restrain your opponents on my command! Go! I'm ready, boss. Fine work, boss! 
dirt. To now we will throw your opponent after restraining them. To throw an enemy to the ground, press a direction on the analog stick when you have them restrained. Restrain your opponent and throw them on my command. Go! I'm ready, boss. Fine work, boss! Now we will try CQC against multiple enemy opponents. You can also take out a group of enemies by throwing an opponent you have restrained. First, restrain an opponent by pressing the attack button near them. Then tilt the analog stick to throw them. By tilting the analog stick toward other enemies, you can send your captive flying straight into them. On my command, restrain and then throw your opponent. Go! I'm ready, ready boss. boss. Fantastic! Again! Go! I'm ready, I'm ready boss. boss. Next! Fantastic! Alright! Why don't we do something special since the boss is here? Anyone who feels like getting their ass kicked, step forward! Don't hold back, boss! When you're surrounded by multiple enemies, you'll have to take them on one after the other. To do it, simply press the attack button again while throwing the current enemy. Just be sure to wait for the icon to appear. Go! I'm ready, I'm boss. Ready, boss. Again! Go! I'm ready, I'm boss. Ready, boss. Fine work, boss! And stop! That's it for today! Thank you, boss! What's going on, Kaz? We've got guests. Time to move. Don't worry, it's not our friends from Langley. I brought him, made sure we won't follow. Thank you, Big Boss. Call me Snake. Oh, uh, sorry, Big Boss. <sighs> Listen up. For us, there is no victory. But in revolution, doesn't one triumph or die? We don't do either. Here. Ah, uh, thank you. I feel like a new man. There's no coffee like Costa Rican coffee. So, what brings a distinguished scholar from the Costa Rican government to Colombia? Professor Galvez comes from Costa Rica's University for Peace. You see, over the past year, there have been sightings of an armed group in Costa Rica. They're not ours, of course. Costa Rica doesn't have an army. Correct. Article 12 of our Constitution states that the army as a permanent institution is abolished. The Peace Constitution. You think it's rebels who fled Nicaragua? 
No, no, they don't appear to be guerrillas. They're far too organized. What's your government's take? The authorities in San Jose claim it's a multinational security firm, hired by the Development Corporation of Costa Rica. Lies, obviously. They're bringing in state-of-the-art weaponry and equipment by the shipload. Where'd they get that kind of cash? I fear La Cia may be involved. The CIA? As you both know, the United States views Central America as its backyard. Even after Cuba, we've managed to maintain a delicate balance with the U.S. And your government can't just give them boot. We are not allowed to bear arms. Japan's constitution has something similar. Article 9. It says Japan renounces war and can't maintain an army. I understand that you and your men have neither state nor ideology. That you will fight any foe. Please, you must drive them out of our defenseless country. We come to you, the Militaire Sans Frontières. So, you want to hire us? Yes, as our deterrent. We can't afford to pay much, it's true. But, we can offer you this. A forward operating base. An offshore plant in the Caribbean. Sounds pretty good to me. This place is becoming a mess anyway. Snake, we need some place we can settle down. The governments agreed to cooperate. Unofficially, of course. A chopper for transport would be nice, too. I'll see what I can do. Hold it! You seem to think we're just a pack of dogs of war. Is that right? Yes, that's what I've heard. You're an army without a state. No, we've only left our countries behind. Please, you must help us! If your suspicions are true, force isn't going to do any good. You'll have to find a political solution. The government's hands are tied. Go back to your bosses in San Jose. Tell them if they want, I'll introduce them to a negotiator I know. No. I'm not here on their behalf. So, what are you doing here? For over 20 years, I've preached the virtues of peace at multiple universities. Tonight, I stand before you as an educator. <laughs> this is my student. She came to me to study peace. Her name is Paz. Paz Ortega. Paz. Peace. No kidding. That's my name too. Kazuhira. It's Japanese for peace. Pleased to meet you, Paz. Call me... Kaz. Uh. They've got a supply port north of Puerto Limon, a town in La Costa del Mar Caribe. A few days ago, Paz stumbled upon that facility while searching for a lost friend. She was captured. She's only a child. Sixteen years old. They did terrible things to her. But somehow she managed to escape. Oh. My God. She's Suerfana. Her mother died when she was small. And she lost her grandparents in the Civil War. She hates war with a passion like no other. My name is Paz, and I will do anything to protect my namesake. It is my one and only purpose. Please, get them out of my country. Make them leave Costa Rica. Sorry, kid. We know who you are, big boss. That is why we've come to you. 